Good day and welcome back to another DBC Dokken Battle video. In this video we are going to be taking a look at the fantastically spooky Dokken campaign which is basically just a very small Halloween campaign for Global. And yeah, pretty simple stuff. Nothing too crazy here, a couple of events have come out in celebration of the Halloween. Uh, plus there's a special banner as well, although we'll talk about that. but don't really think you should summon on it beyond the first discounted summon but we do have some login rewards for two weeks and there's some gaps in the celebration very possibly for gamma 1 and gamma 2 uh, who obviously are announced already for global so we've got here a revamp of the story which brings with it 18 stones super strike reopening and revamp and easy a which is 21 stones we've got a new extreme super battle road stage which is six stones very 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 simple stuff and yeah there's also some gaps here uh, as you can imagine so one of them is probably for gamma one and gamma two uh, and then the other gap is probably for the uh, halloween area extreme z area uh, they probably will update some of those units and there's another super strike which will be opening up again so that is very much very possible for all of halloween uh, Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 are slated to release within the next week. So it's definitely highly possible that that's what will be coming in there. So yeah, generally speaking, that's about it for the celebration. It's very brief, very short, uh, possibly to lead into Super Dragon Ball Heroes with JP. Don't really know. All I know is that Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 are going to be coming out and that they are going to be pretty damn good as well. So yeah. Uh, obviously that's everything in terms of the content uh, so just to talk very briefly through the special missions so login rewards wise uh, or special missions wise nothing too crazy here uh, your standard stuff consuming stamina uh, clearing doken events clearing story events or stage events uh, very simple stuff here nothing too crazy at all uh, the daily missions have changed there's a limited time daily mission for the Halloween tickets, which you can get. Uh, and yeah, generally speaking, just very straightforward stuff. Nothing too crazy, nothing too wild. Very, very simple stuff. So you've got all of these special missions. There are some special conditions. Those are mainly regarding Bond of Master and Disciple units. So you do have to incorporate those into your team, although that is somewhat incorporated with the Super Strike revamp. So. You shouldn't really have a huge issue story revamp as well uh, you shouldn't have a massive problem uh, getting those missions done but yeah it's all very very straightforward stuff uh, nothing too crazy and with it it brings 11 stones which is obviously something that's pretty damn good so we've got that then we have the daily login rewards daily login rewards are very straightforward uh, again, being something that you're going to probably handle fairly well, um, just lock into the game. Uh, there are 15 stones there, although nothing too crazy to mention. Some candy cans, which are a great training item, but nothing too wild uh, in terms of everything else. So yeah, beyond that, we also have the Extreme Challenge campaign announced for the LR Strength Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. Uh, obviously, I've already done a video on how to easy A him, which you can find in the top right hand corner. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much everything you need to know there. Uh, you do get five stones for the first step of his awakening. Uh, the rest will unlock throughout. So you can include those, but yeah, very simple process as well. Requires you to go through the new quest mode, which is three new stages. And those three new stages will net you some dragon stones as well so pretty straightforward kind of system there then we also have incredible blue gems being announced again i have a video on how you can get those also up uh, which you'll also find in the top right hand corner and how best to farm them and which stage is best to farm them so that's pretty good as well so yeah very simple stuff um yeah very 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 simple uh, kind of events. We've got the Super Strike up for Mecha Freezer, which I think is pretty good. So hopefully we can see how good he is. I think he's a very exciting unit. I'm interested to see just how good he is. 
Uh, it's always cool to get a super strike unit. We've got a new extreme to battle road stage, this time for time travelers, which will be pretty tough. Uh, there are some buffs coming their way, I think, but yeah, definitely will be quite tough. Then we have the Dragon Ball Story revamp, uh, also very, very straightforward. You can find it under the sagas section or the Dragon Ball section. And it's obviously a replacement of the Planet Namek event, uh, where you used to get strength Gohan. So that's something pretty valuable and pretty good overall as well so hopefully you can enjoy that then in terms of dragon ball quest there's been a new area added 28 uh, the first three stages are out and they bring with them nine stones because they have three difficulties so immediately some brand new stones which i think is pretty awesome and obviously the method of farming the incredible gems blue which is going to be high value for a lot of players but yeah that is pretty much it when it comes to everything with the campaign. Obviously there are the banners, but we'll take a look at that in the Save or Summon video. But that's going to be it guys, so let me know what you think. Let me know your thoughts, and if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. I'll see you next time. Bye.